So you tell me Eastern, and then I get, I'm sitting here, 105, 110, 115, 123. And I get a, oh, bro, I got the time mixed up. Yeah. No, tell everybody what my reply was. Good to it, good to it. Let's get down to it. Good to it, good to it, good to it. Let's get down to it. Say to read, man. I, I I've been watching your film. Yes, sir. I ain't even know it for sure. I, I appreciate that. Why would you not think I'm watching film? All right, hold on. Are you a receiver? I'm a receiver. Yes, sir. I was a receiver. Exactly. But, but you know, you being a legend and all, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't expect it, you know? You were coming out in the draft. For sure that. Man, I'm sitting there evaluating wide receivers up the yang yang. Okay. Right? For sure. And no. everybody wants to know my opinion of people. And sometimes I can't give my opinion of some of these wide receivers that they think are fantastic. Right. I'm like, For sure. So, I feel uh, you. Yeah. So let's get started. Before let's you do leave, it. Before you leave the house, what are what are a few things you cannot get through the day if you do not have them on you? If I don't have them on me, mm -hmm. uh, through the day, man, uh, really just like my purpose, like you know, just just knowing why I'm leaving out the house, knowing why I'm working. And okay. stuff like that. Just always remember my purpose first. Uh, okay. Why I do everything I do. So, you know, just, just having the right mindset and everything. I just think, you know, having a, having a good head on my shoulders is really, you know, number one. Or walking out the door and having a purpose and knowing what you're doing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Favorite breakfast food? Easily, easily French toast. Ooh. French toast, bacon, eggs, for sure. Yeah. Scrambled. Okay. Okay. Man. Yeah. A French toast, French toast is my go-to as well. For sure, uh, that's the I, one. I love French toast. I, are you? Do you know how to cook? Are you a cook? You like cooking? I'm learning how to cook. So, you like, like doing the job process, I, I was living alone, so you know, I, I forced myself to cook. So, yeah. I'm learning. All right, I, I, I'll tell you one that's uh, just a little recipe that I just discovered. It's pretty good. So, you take French toast. Yeah. Okay. Do the same thing, except instead of putting it in the pan put it in a waffle iron, and now you have French toast waffles. Waffle? That sounds good. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to have to try that one day. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I'm I'm having it this weekend. So, um, all right. Bet. Yep. All right. If you win the lotto, would you play football still? Yes, easily. <laughs> the money don't matter to me. I'm doing it for, you know, this is my dream. You know, I've been yeah. dreaming about this for so long. Yeah. Money ain't money ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's just what come with it. Yeah. So yeah. I like that. that I, yeah. I don't I would have conducted myself even worse than I conducted myself if I won a powerball and play right. football. For sure. It'd have been a last day of school every day. Exactly. For <laughs> sure that. No doubt about it. It'd been a last sure. day, three o'clock, two forty five, y'all in trouble. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, um, man, you got any brothers and sisters? I got an older brother, an older sister, and a younger sister. So I got okay. three siblings on the middle child. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Mm. Middle, the middle child, do you have the middle child syndrome? Nah, I, I would say I'm, I'm pretty normal for the most yeah. part, you know. My brother, he the introvert, he don't talk much. Okay. My little sister, she kind of the introvert too. She don't talk much, but she an athlete. She she do gymnastics. Ooh. Uh, you know, she do all that kind of stuff. My brother, he just a game head. My older sister, yeah. you know, she got kids and stuff now. So I'm I'm I don't know. Besides me and my younger sister, we the only two athletes that's you know really in the family. So yeah, gymnastics. Yeah. That's a real athlete right there. But so yeah. Oh man. Um. So what was your favorite team? Any sport growing up? Growing up. Man, the Chicago Bears, like Devin Hester. I grew up watching him, you, oh, yeah, Antonio yeah, yeah. Brown, like guys like y'all. Um, but growing up, Chicago Bears was definitely my favorite, you know, just being from Chicago and everything. And now I'm on the Packers, so it's crazy. You know, I, yes. I was just working out How does that work out? Yeah, I was just working out a few days ago before I went to minicamp. 
it was some kids. I'm outside working out. They flick me off, middle finger. I'm like, man, like I can't even train at the crib. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I really didn't understand how bad the rivalry was until now I'm in it. So you know what I'm saying? Now I can really feel it for sure. Hey, all right. So, you know, uh, where are you from and the place you call home? Because everybody, you know, you everybody may be born like Bryce Young, he was born in Philly. Right. Right. But he's been living in L.A., Pasadena, right. but, you know, his whole life. Yeah. I would say for the most part, I grew up uh, in the inner city. I, I, You know, I was born on the south side, raised on the west side. So, like, I really grew up in the trenches of Chicago. Um, mm-hmm. And then, really, as I got older, you know, my parents thought it would be a better opportunity for me to move to the suburban area. I moved to a place called Naperville. So, I got there in high school, uh, went to high school out there, so. So really just all Chicagoland area is just home for me, really. Uh, I've been on both sides. I, I got the experience, you know, where it's predominantly white uh, and predominantly black. So, like, I, I done seen both sides of the spectrum. And, you know, Chicagoland area is just a place I call home. And then being in Michigan for so long for college, that's always a home for me, too. You know what I'm saying? I went to Western Michigan, started off there as a freshman, played there for a year, got freshman All-American, transferred to Michigan State. Set out in 2019. I ain't transferred during free agency, so I had to sit out, get it out the mud, do scout team, you know, have fun with that. And then, you know, I, I played at Michigan State for four more years, so Michigan is a, a home state for me, too. Take me through that transition. I mean, how did – why were you at Western Michigan? And then why did yeah, you transfer? for sure. So, yeah, for sure. You know, being recruited out of high school, I went recruited heavily. I got – Offer about four max schools, uh, Western Michigan, uh, Miami of Ohio, Ohio, Central Michigan, and Toledo. Those are my only offers coming out of high school. And, you know, uh, I just had a real good relationship with one of the head coaches at Western Michigan. Okay. He's actually a coach at with the Packers right now. Crazy story. So, uh, yeah, I went there for a year. You know, did what I did. I started off fourth on the depth chart, worked my way up. Um, so going into my freshman year, I wasn't doing good in school, so I had to come in August 1st. All the rest of the freshmen came in June 22nd. So I came in late, you know what mm. I'm saying? I was I had to play catch-up uh, due to my grades coming out of high school and stuff. Uh, so uh, I did that, started off fourth on the depth chart, learned to play quick. That that made me be able to play fast. And, you know, I earned my starting job by, by game one. Uh, and then, you know, played a tremendous year that year, uh, my freshman year. And that gave me the ability to be able to transfer and, you know, play at a power five school. Take us through that transfer stuff. Yeah. Because you, you hear a lot of different stories on why and how. Right. right. I just want to sure. know for I just want to know for your yeah. particular situation, not everybody else's, just for your sure. particular situation. Why did you feel you needed to? Obviously, right. it benefited you, but why? Why yeah. did you think you want, want needed? No to doubt, play? just just for me, just you know, that's always been a dream. You know, playing at a at a university like that, you know, with a fan base like that, uh, competing with the best. You know, I wanted to compete with the best. You know, I grew up watching Ohio State, Michigan State, all those schools. I just wanted to show that you know I had the ability to perform at that level as well. You know what I mean? So um, it was just you know the MAC was a little different. You know what I'm saying? We played okay. MAC Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> We play on Tuesday to Thursday. There's three people in the stands. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't feel like I was getting that full experience. So, you three? know, uh, three, three. three people. It'd it be feeling like that for real. But, uh, yeah, I just took advantage of the opportunity. You know, I put the work in first, and then I was I was gifted from that. So, so uh, but how do you think the transfer portal has shaped college football from your experience? Because And, and the reason I'm asking. Yeah. For sure. So my son, I so I got a, I got a twenty five year old. Okay? Yeah, for sure. Yep. And so he went to DePaul. Mm-hmm. And um, we did the whole transfer thing, right? But he he actually had an injury, so he didn't get to play. So it was a little bit different. It was almost like right. a red shirt for him. Right. Okay. It was it wasn't a big deal, right? Right. And growing up in Charlotte. Yeah. Me and my son, and dealing with that weather, man, he was For like, sure. you know, he was like, you know what, pop, I ain't about that cold action. <laughs> right. For sure, it's different. It's different. It's different. For sure. 
We had you know no indoor facility, nothing at the yep. mall. Exactly. So, That's what's different about Chicago too. Yeah. It ain't all year round stuff, you know. Okay. We gotta do stuff different out here, you know. Yeah. We gotta get it where we can, you know. So sleet, rain, you know. snow, or sunshine. You all get that, that work. You know what I'm saying? We outside playing in blizzards. So yeah. that's how we got down to Chicago for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so so take 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 me through that. Take me through the transfer. What you think is good and bad about the transfer right. portal that you've experienced? Yeah. So for me, you know, it's different for everybody. You know right. what I mean? Some kids just just throw their name in there and just expect to get picked up. It's not gonna happen like that all the time. Like you gotta <laughs> have some kind of film. Yeah. You gotta have some kind of stats. You gotta have some to contribute for a team to come out and grab you. You know what I'm saying? People throwing their names in there and think they're going to go up a level when, you know what I'm saying, they don't have the the film and all that to, you know, to get them the opportunity to yeah. do that. Um, so, and I don't know, I don't like the portal now because everybody and their mama just want to jump in there, you know what I'm saying, because they, they feel like they not getting what they deserve and they're not even putting in what they, you know, need to to get what they want. So... For me, it was just, I knew my consequences. I knew I was possibly going to have to sit out. But I made it a positive. I'm like, you know, I'm about to go in there. Even if I had to sit out, I'm going to compete against those number one guys on defense, on scout team, to make myself better for when I'm able to, to play. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of guys, they don't have the, the guts to do that, you know, to yeah. put themselves in that situation and, and really, you know, get it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't guaranteed for me to go there and get a spot. I had to earn everything I had. Uh, for me going in to Western Michigan, fourth on the depth chart. For me going to Michigan State, whole new school. Had to start a whole new foundation and prove myself over and over again. But it's just my mindset. You know, I go in and, you know, I always bet on myself. You know, uh, I never I never try to judge myself off of someone else's success. I put myself in a situation and, you know, had that same mindset and I attack it. So, uh, that's why I think I overcome so many, you know, situations and stuff like that. And it's just the portal. You just got to go into it the right way. You got to think it out. and You got to plan that stuff. You can't just throw yourself in a fire and expect to, you know, get out of it. So. So when you went in the transfer portal, you knew exactly where you were going or you knew there were other teams um, that were interested? Not, I had an idea. One of my quarterback I've been playing with since Pop Warner football, he was committed to Michigan State. Okay. So, you know, that was always the idea for sure. But I had visited Iowa, you know, other Big Ten schools start off me, Illinois. Uh, so basically, you know what I'm saying? I took a visit to Iowa. The very next day I took my visit to Michigan State, I was still talking to teams. The very next day I took my visit to Michigan State, I committed. Like I came down, they so, brought me in open arms and it was over. Really? So so yeah. word on the word on the street is you didn't even want to go to Iowa. You were scared of uh with a spoon like that, huh? Nah, nah, nah. It ain't like that. Them boys don't throw the ball. I was gonna have my hand in the dirt over there. I I man, I, I like with a spoon just watching this film. No, nah, that stuff. boy nice. That boy nice yes. to play physical for sure. Yeah. I played him this year. Oh, I know. Oh, I, played, I know. Yeah. I saw I saw him yeah. put them clamps on you a little bit. Man, he ain't even guard me. Oh, so you said he's scared. That is that what you said? I ain't saying he's scared, but I'm no. just saying I can't we can't we can't figure that out until we know. We yeah. ain't guard each other, we ain't seen each other. So you know it ain't no film. Yeah. So so what do you think? So it was, uh it was Witherspoon and then it was the kid Williams. So which which one which which one how different do they play at Illinois? The the two different corners. Uh I would just say Witherspoon, like he just he a ball hawk. Like, he going to find the ball. He going to attack the ball. Like, yeah. he going to make the play. He yeah. physical. You know what I'm saying? You don't see too many corners that, you know, they don't want to stick their nose in there. You know, yeah. they're a little yeah. scared. But with a spoon, he, he a dog. Like, he play hard out. He yeah. got my respect. Yeah. Uh, but another corner, if you ask me, is Deontay Banks from Maryland. Oh, really? Me, personally, I think he was the best corner I've seen. Say it ain't so, bro. Really? Yeah, for sure. Deontay Banks. I would say he the best corner that I probably faced up against. Maryland, just they secondary in the hole. Uh, really? Ja'Cory and Bennett, they the only team that I, you know, face that really, you know, get in there and they play man the whole game. Other teams, they bracketing. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, they put stuff in disguise. Illinois did too a little bit, but we took yeah. advantage of that. But yeah. Maryland, they 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 did a good job, and I, I get them respect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. 
Look at look at you. All right. For sure. Uh, t- tell me, uh, nil. I, I, yeah. I, the nil money. What do you think about that? You only get it when you're doing good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 2021, we won 11 games. It was good for me. This year, five games, not so good. So Whoa. it really only it, it really only hit when you know y'all winning. So wow, that's that's what I got to say. Unless you're going to a school in Texas, Texas A&M, yeah. it might be a little different then. But you know, for me personally, you ain't getting no bread if you ain't winning. So, so how how did that change? How did that change you as far as you got one year, you got, you, you know, 11 games, yeah. you got that bread, and then the next one? Oh. What, did, what did that do for you as a college uh, student? I always say it kind of humbles you a little bit, you know what I'm saying, to, to let you know that the money always don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You get so – we got so excited about getting the money, but then you realize, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't winning, you ain't getting nothing out of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we was winning. I didn't care about money. I just wanted to win at that point. You know what I'm saying? When the money was there – we was winning. It felt good. But now the money not there and we're not winning. I still wanted to win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. money there or not, I want to win regardless. Yeah. What made it feel good is, is winning and having a team that, you know, that that's doing good. So really that was my only take from it. Uh, so. Man, take, take me through what has it been like for you at, at school now? Because yeah. now you get your – you're not just a football player that happens to to go to class. You're right. a football player that was drafted that right. still has that still has to go to class. What's that? What is that like right for now? Me, no, I actually graduated uh, December 2021, so Ooh. I really all don't. So I went back. I got my second uh, my second bachelor's in uh, human development. So oh, congratulations! I'm all done with school. I'm good. I'm you know what I'm saying generational. So for sure. Bless. Oh, so you ch- so your you second de- your second degree. What was your first degree? My my first degree was business communication. And I, I graduated December 2021. 20, yep. So wow. Yes, sir. Look at you, fancy pants. So oh, gotta get it done. Oh, congratulations. That's, Appreciate that. So take us through what has it been like for you for the last six months? Because I, you yeah. know, we've talked to a lot of different people and everybody has a different, a different experience. For sure. Really, shoot, day by day, like it's a long process. It can, yeah. it can get, it can get boring. It can get hard. It can get fun. You know what I'm saying? It's so many phases throughout the process. You know, I went to the senior bowl. That was fun. Just competing with all those guys, yeah. top guys. You know what I'm saying? I love competing. Like it was fun going out there, breaking those guys off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And having fun. Uh, just being able to show my talent, and sh- so I'm 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 able to hang with about anybody you put up against me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, combine. I had one eye. My eye had an eye infection. I couldn't see out of one eye. Still uh-huh. did it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know it's a long process and stuff just pop up. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready for anything. But it was just good. Just talk to the coaches. Really, just getting to this point to my dream that I've been dreaming about my whole life. And and now I'm in it. I'm learning the plays now. And it's yeah. go time. You know what I'm saying? A few months, we about to be out there balling, preseason yeah. games and all. So. so so, you got – you were drafted? Yes, sir. By the Green Bay Packers? Yes, sir. Okay. But I know you I, – I know I did. You had some right. feelings of people you thought were going to pick Oh, for sure. Up. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Who, who did, who, what were some teams that you had some interactions with that you right. you were like, man – this team go get yeah. and then so, that team go and they like with the such and such pick they have yeah. picked D lineman <laughs> exactly so so for me one I didn't even think I was gonna go as high as I did yeah. I didn't think I was gonna be pick fifty honestly I was saying a lot of third fourth round you know what I'm saying I was I was preparing myself for that um, but a team that I talked to a lot I was convinced I was going to the Detroit Lions I was convinced. My, yeah. my agent said I was going to go at pick 55 to the Lions. He did mention Green Bay, but I'm like, I didn't talk to Green Bay a lot. I only had like two Zooms with him, and that was it. Um, other teams that I talked to, the Falcons, I had a top 30 with them. 49ers, I had a top 30 with them. Ooh, uh, if you went to the 49ers. Steelers, that would have been nice for sure. You see what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. You know no, no, what I, mean? know what you, I know what you're saying, Packers, but just to kind of think, think about think. Yeah. I can tell you right now with the Atlanta Falcons, man, they, they ain't got no quarterback right now, doggy. So you, so, you hey, 
Yeah, for sure. You you dodged a bullet on that. Yeah, for sure. But it was a few teams though. I was convinced though. Definitely the Lions though. If I had to pick one team, yeah, I would have said the Lions for sure. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Wow. Man, so what are some of your goals now that you're in the now that you're in the league? Do you have yes, any? First of all, do you have any yeah. goals? Right. Uh, of course. Uh, really, my personal goal is just become a better receiver. You know, mm. uh, better yet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna I wanna work on my awareness. You know what I'm saying? Making moves when the ball get in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Get up field. Uh, a lot of times I can see myself going lateral instead of vertical. Yeah. I wanna you, work you on take, get, you taking. Taking uh, uh, bricks off the house instead of low, putting them on. Hey, yeah, exactly for sure. So yeah, those are the things I want to kind of work on. You know, uh, just my tempo changing my routes, uh, starting and finishing my routes, release to you know the end point of my route. Um, yeah. It's a lot of stuff. I just want to improve overall as a player first, and then really just team goals. I'm a team guy. You know what I'm saying? I want to win. That's number one goal. I don't care if I have to go in there and just return punts. Yeah. Whatever it takes the team to win, I'm gonna go in there and do it. I'm not a selfish player, you know. I do whatever it takes to make everybody succeed. So, all right. So, did you see my breakdown of you? I didn't see it yet. You did you, you tag me in it? Uh, yeah. We 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 should have tagged you. Yeah, we tagged you. In it. I didn't yeah. see it yet. Yeah, yeah. I tagged you in there. The only thing yeah. I said though, um, so. When I was doing some stuff, I I, I did a write up on you. Is I I said yeah. I thought you were just as good as Zay Flowers with the ball in your hand. Okay, for sure, appreciate right. that. Um, I I wasn't sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the way that the style of offense y'all ran at Michigan. Right. State. Definitely, kind of, definitely, yeah. Kind sure. of hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Is it you or is it the offense? Yeah. Right, because sometimes it's like I see you running around, so you I can see a little bit. You like, well, I don't know if the ball gonna come this time. Right, right, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and so that and, and so that's that's tough to that's tough to run a route when you go, you know, how you run that good route, you come back here and the ball already go. The ball not there. Man, yeah. you, and that's happened plenty of times for me. Boy, you throw sure. that check down. Uh-huh. So uh sure. but I I just I one of the things I love watching your game is you are a player that has to be on the field. Like you, sure. ha you you have to be on the field. If you're not on the field, you 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 can tell your the your presence is not there. Exactly for sure. That. Right. Yep. So you got to keep I you got to keep that. Make sure you keep that. Yes, um, sir. In the league because you go on the Green Bay, they be, they loaded up with every wide receiver known to mankind, right? For sure. They they got tight ends, wide receivers. They got everybody. And man, don't do, get discouraged by that. But it's gonna be some healthy competition now. Oh, for sure. I'm ready to work. That's what I do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I compete regardless. Yeah. Coach Coach LaFour want to know if you if you got that, they got to see if you got that real dog in you. I'm trying, I'm trying to get like you, OG, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's what that's one thing that we talked about with you. Is like sure. uh, when they drafted you, um, I said, I love that kid. Yeah. And he said he did too, and they're excited about you, but he just wanted to make sure you get that dog in you. Yeah, question for you. What's your mindset? You go out there, you know what I'm saying? I know you 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 yeah. get like I'm, that when you get out there, you know yeah, what I mean? I'm, I'm like you little, bring a lot of energy. Yes. Is that what gets you going or uh, how do I say it? I'm trying to be politically correct. Man, I'm a little off, bro. <laughs> right. For sure. Everybody different though. For yes. sure. Yes. Um The way I approach get uh, the way I approach ball, I wouldn't necessarily if I could do it over again, I would approach it slightly different. Right. Just because it was exhausting to always be that way, right? right. But you also going against you got to go against uh, Jair Alexander, yeah, yeah. Charlotte, yeah. A, a, a Charlotte guy, right? For sure. So he's gonna bring it every day. He's oh, gonna sure. he's gonna challenge you. Yeah. So I so what I did and what I would suggest you do is. Master your craft. Right. Right. Know how to run every route a few different ways because you're yes, going to get some defenses who do different things. They're going to get some right. defenses who challenge you. Like you said, there's going to be teams who who disguise right. and you yeah. got a guy who he's a shutdown corner, but he's sitting in cover too. Right. Right. Exactly. For and sure. then you got a cover corner who, like you said with Maryland, 
man, them boys in they in man coverage the whole game. Exactly. So just understand it and and play the game from the shoulders up, man. Right. Right. So when you get a little bit older and you start to lose your athleticism, you're able to know how yes, to play. Here. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, no. So this bring this brings me a question to you, which is good. Because I I I I saw this question and I was hesitant to ask you, but then you asked me, so now I gotta ask you. Yes, sir. What lies do you tell yourself the most? What lies do I tell myself the most out there on the field? Yeah, it, football. You, it, it's your world. We're just living in it. On the uh, field, off the field. Um, I'm trying to think. I try to be like up, up front and honest about a lot of things about myself. I'm, I'm very self critical, but yeah. it's definitely stuff that you know that like I can a lot work of negative self talk huh? for sure. Yeah. Uh, um, I would just say, man, I'm trying to think of something. All right, so why you... I need to improve on my blocking. I okay. say I'm a good blocker, but <laughs> it's it's been games like. You be like, funny story. I had a I had a top thirty with the Bears, uh -huh. and the and the receivers coach was like, "Man, name your your best blocking game." I'm like, "All right, bet." Because I I think any game, you know what I'm saying. I block because I believe that's what I do. I you know what I'm saying. I'm a good blocker. Uh, I told him the game. I told him I think Wisconsin game last year. Put it up by the block. So <laughs> did he bring it up on the Zoom? He he brought the game up, played clip by clip, brought up every run play, no passes. I didn't block a soul. What did you – was it in person or on Zoom? In person. In what person. Happened? I had a top 30 visit in the receiving room. He played the game, every run play. And I didn't block a soul. And I was embarrassed. I'm like, man, I keep telling myself I'm a good blocker, but the eye in the sky don't lock. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I ain't block a soul. So um, I'm a good blocker, but it just – I got to bring it every game. You know yeah. what I mean? That's something I got to, you know, really hound in so on it. And was sure. the corner trying to make a tackle, though? No, nah, not really. It so was it just like, it, it was really me. just the, the run going away. You know, I'm just kind of jogging. Chilling. You chilling? I'm, saying, I'm not, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, for sure. That's probably one thing that, that really mm. woke me up a little bit when he brought that up. So, So did you give him another game? He ain't won another game. Oh. He said he seen all he needed. Oh. And I was like, respect. I can't, you know what I mean? I told you. I told you this. This happened. So why did you pick that game? Why you just did you did I you, just picked the game? You just he told me from 2022 though. So I had to pick a game from last year. I'm not gonna lie, last year I was trying to stay healthy. I got hurt at the beginning of the year. Oh. I was on, uh, you know what I mean? So so for sure, but I'm, I'm a blocker though. I block. I got plenty of film of me taking taking heads off of linebackers, all of that. For sure. Though, so, so after that, so after that, what happened? Like it was super awkward after that, huh? No, I wasn't. He was laughing and joking a little bit. He told okay. me to drop the plays, and then I drop every play without looking at no formations, nothing. I didn't need no help. He told me draw this up. I drop every play, perfect. Eight oh. eight plays, perfect. Okay. And that's how I, I got my get back. You know what I'm saying? I, I got it back. So. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. All right. The lie I used to tell myself the most, man, they, they always trying you. They always who? They always trying me. They always trying you? Okay. And so also, that, you used to always think. Yo, you, you trying me? me? Yeah. For sure. And that's why you brought that dog out every game. Yeah, that was I like it. just okay. you know pissed off at the world because I felt like everybody was always trying. Right, right. Even though they I wasn't. Yep. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. For sure. That's not a bad mindset to have, though. You know. Yeah, but then like if somebody get the time zone messed up, then you all hot waiting for. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that's on me. Look, I'll pay the fine. Whatever I gotta do, that's on me. I'm still learning the time zones and all of that. Hold on, though. Let's so let's let's go ahead and throw that out there. So we're gonna run this it. clip. We're gonna run this clip before let's I run the it. clip. Let's do it. So we're supposed to have a time to do this yes. interview, to do this cut to an interview at one o'clock. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern. Yes, sir. 
Eastern. Now, now I have receipts. That yes, sir. That I said Eastern. That you said Eastern. I said Eastern. Okay. Now we're gonna rewind this tape. Yep. How long and where were you born? How long I have was you born, been living? I was born in Chicago. I've been how here long since have I you lived in Chicago? How many years? How how old is at least at least 16 years? At, at least 17. Okay. Because you ain't 16 or 17, but at least nah, 16 no, sir. or 17, right? Okay. So you got how many degrees? Two. And when you received those degrees, did you walk? Across, yes, sir. Yes. I did. And when they walked, when they told you what time, hold on. When you received those degrees to walk the stage, did they give you a cap and a gown? Yes, sir. Did I they give it. you a time to pick up that cap and gown? They sent it to my house. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. They <laughs> I told feel you, you. I feel where you're going, right. though. I feel where you're going. So you tell me, Eastern, and then I get, I'm sitting here, 105, 110, 115, 123. And I get a, oh, bro, I got the time mixed up. Yeah. No, tell everybody what my reply was to you when you told me you got the. the I clock. mean, you told me one, you know what I'm saying? It ain't cool. And I understand that you was going to reach out to coach and, yeah. you know. Uh, make sure he, he knows. Was, make sure he know you don't know your damn uh, 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 Central Eastern Pacific hey, time zone. It's the truth. I don't got no problem in the truth. I don't know the difference between. It's the truth. It's the truth. Hey, dog, when well, you said, man, I got the time zone, and I said, well, hell, it, Chicago been on Central at least yeah. 40 years I've been born. Exactly. You did say that. <laughs> well, and you're right. You ain't wrong. I'm wrong. I take the blame. See, I'm self-critical. I know I was wrong, and nah, I, it, I admit where I fought. It was you funny know? For sure. because you dead serious, too, that you had For no sure. idea. I'm, I'm not lying to you. I, I can't I know, wait to get can, on this call with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you were like, yeah, we we eating that. We eating that one. Boy, one <laughs> was a. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was me, though. I, it won't happen again. It won't happen again. And Man. I apologize for that. And I'll pay the fine if I had to. Man, it ain't no fine, bro. It's just the fact that we get to laugh about it. Look, I didn't mess sure. up. Hey, bro, I done showed up and stuff late, early, you name it. So, right. I, I, hey. For sure. It just, I was just on the other end of it. <laughs> right, exactly, for sure. All right, last question. I think this is the most important question. Yes, sir. What comes to your mind of a person when I say sunshine? Sunshine, what comes to my mind of a person? What of person? One person or two people. That's significant in your life. When you when I say sunshine, uh, sunshine for sure. Like my dad, like uh, my dad passed in twenty fifteen. Uh, uh, sunshine sorry. every day. Every day I wake up, I see the sunshine. I think about him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody I think about. And uh, every day, he my purpose. He's the reason I get up. I go hard every day. He's the reason I don't make excuses. Mm. Uh, he the reason I'm still doing this today. He the reason I'm still going hard. He was the loudest at my game growing up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He done got kicked out of my games. Yelling at the refs, all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, sunshine. I think about him every day. I wake up. Then my mom, like, after that happened, she worked three jobs, surviving for three kids. You see what I'm saying? Uh, her not making that excuse. You know, her working hard as she could. She, you know, keep me doing what I'm doing. Keep me and stuff constructive. And keep, you know, me and my brothers and sisters and stuff positive. And making sure that we go to school and we graduate and we, we always doing something positive. You know, because growing up in the city of Chicago, it ain't much positive out here. You know what I'm saying? Just them being able to get us out the hood to the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? Working extra jobs just to pay the rent. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just putting us in, in a position to be where we at today. Uh, so those are my two sunshines for sure. Easily. Yeah, that's dope. For sure. Hey, I look, listen, I look forward to watching you play, bro. No I doubt. To, I look forward to watching you, your game expand. Right? Yes, sir. There you were at Western Michigan. And a player you are at Michigan State, I yes, expect sir. the player that you're going to become at Green Bay. 
man, we get to watch. We, we just get to watch you perform. It's going to be fun yes, to watch you perform. No doubt. That's the respect coming from you for real. No cap. Man, I, I love watching. I love watching. I love watching receivers. I love analyzing. But more than anything, yes, I love seeing guys grow. Right? right. Seeing the player you used to be and seeing the player you are. Man, I can see you you you, you heading in that direction. Yes, sir. It's just only going let, up from here. So. Just don't let that money start to give you a course. Man, course. I don't even see money. I ain't I ain't even thinking about my contract yet. I ain't signed it yet. I ain't even worried about none of that. I just want to work. Yeah. Well, cool, I, I didn't come this far to come this far. Ah, sure. I like it. You feel well, me? Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming on the Cut to a Podcast. Man. Thank you. I appreciate two receivers talking ball, examining. Yes, you already know what it is. Examining these wannabe DBs. You feel me? Cut to it. Cut to it. Let's get down to it.